I cannot find the bonbons. I want the bonbons. Hello, my name is Donovan and I found the bonbons. I found the mint chocolate bonbons. We can share them with our friends and indulge in the delicious food. Let us reproduce this chocolatey masterpiece with the ingredients. Here are the ingredients. Two sleeves of Oreo cookies, one block of cream cheese, two cups of dark chocolate melts, half a cup of white chocolate, and mint extract is optional if you like the toothpaste flavor. You will also need two Ziploc bags, a stand mixer, a sheath tray and parchment paper, a heat safe bowl, one pot, and additional bowls. I begin by filling a Ziploc bag with all of the Oreo cookies. I will double bag the Oreo cookies for their safety. I then hammer the cookies with a meat tenderizer in order to pulverize them, but you can use any aggressive kitchen appliance. Now it is time to cream the cream cheese in the stand mixer. My cream cheese doesn't want to go in the bowl, haha, <laughs> pesky cheese. Now set your mixer to a medium high speed. Make sure that it is locked. Make sure your stand mixer is affixed with the whisk attachment for optimal creaming. Do not try to scrape down the sides of the bowl when the mixer is on. That would be very silly, haha. -ha. This is creamed. Spill the decimated cookies into the cream cheese mixture. Mix. I forgot to add the mint extract. It is time to add the mint extract. This is brand new mint extract, so I still need to peel the peel. What is this? Another peely on my mint extract? Pesky extract. Ha 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 ha. One teaspoon please. When it is completely emulsified it is finished mixing. Good job stand mixer. Refrigerate for 30 minutes. Now you must ball the mixture into balls. My preferred balling tool is an ice cream scoop. Place the balls on your tray lined with parchment paper. Pesky scoop. Refrigerate the balls for about one hour. Initiate a stove flame. Allow a pot of water to simmer but do not boil it. This is what simmer looks like. Put your heat proof bowl onto the steamy pot. Make sure the bottom of the bowl is not touching the water. This is called a double boiler. Put two-thirds of your dark chocolate into the bowl and periodically mix it with a rubber spatula. 
The footage of the chocolate mixing has been lost so please accept this panda instead. Once the chocolate has become silky smooth, add the remaining third of the chocolate and take the bowl off the heat. Mix until it is once again smooth, this is called tempering the chocolate, it ensures that the chocolate will harden when poured over the bonbons. Coat the bonbons. I found that the best way to coat the bonbons in chocolate is to spoon the chocolate over the bonbon, lift the bonbon up with the fork, and wipe away excess chocolate at the bottom of the fork. Allow your bonbons to set at room temperature. Yum yum yum, these look like nice bonbons. Now we must temper the white chocolate, but let's try another way. Put two-thirds of the white chocolate in the microwave for 30 second intervals. After each interval mix the chocolate, and then put it back in the microwave until the consistency is completely smooth. Add the final third and mix until it has all melted. Drizzle the chocolate over the bonbons for some artistic flair. Be creative. Allow the white chocolate to harden, and voila, you have made the bonbons. Congratulations, you have made the bonbons. Enjoy with your friends and have a happy time.